As provided by the year one pass, we will have three major expansions, both in the story and in the gameplay it brings with it. In the summer we'll travel to the DC outskirts, like the Manning National Zoo. In the autumn we'll travel to the Lost Castle, the Pentagon, and in winter we're going back to our roots. Back to New York City, but perhaps not as you expect. This summer, coming in July, we are going to the DC outskirts. These expeditions are free events that bring unexplored locations around DC to discover new story and gameplay. The sites offer unique challenges and lore unfound before, thinking of new collectibles, treasure rooms, environmental puzzles, unique boss mechanics and more. With the helicopter pilot at the base for operations, we'll be able to travel to each location. Each expedition consists of three locations with a specific theme and tone. Adding challenges to this is the mastery system, which will reward you with bronze, silver or gold ratings when completing certain challenges. The more challenges you complete, the more rewards you get. Let's see where we are going. First, we're traveling to the Manning National Zoo, to the northern part of DC. Your objective is to track and hunt down Emmeline Shaw, the leader of the Outcast. It appeared she escaped after the defeat on Roosevelt Island and barricaded herself deep in the zoo. To get to her, you're going to need to fight through blockades and the Outcasts that protect her. Along the ride, you will be able to explore the zoo, reading up on pelicans and crocodiles. Because let's face it, just because the world's ending doesn't mean you shouldn't educate yourself. Feel free to explore, but don't forget the main objective. In the grand finale, you will fight Shaw and her followers in an epic battle. The next stop is Camp White Oak. Deep in the woodlands of District Columbia, the Black Tusk and their leader have set up a strategic position close to an estate. Your assignment is to take them down and capture their leader. The identity of the leader is unknown, but the only one known to us at the moment is Barden Schaefer, the leader of the Black Tusk Special Unit. However, he's not the guy in charge, as he's outranked by at least three individuals. His commanding officer, the CEO of the Black Tusk, and the leader of the shadowy organization that hired them. So we'll have to see who this leader is. As you proceed through the woods and its very scenic landscape, and you fight the Black Tusk, you will work your way to the cabin where the leader is residing. The third location we're visiting is called Camley College, where we'll go to find the whereabouts of a military convoy gone dark. It's outcast territory, so be prepared. The autumn update brings with it an expedition to the Pentagon. Once an unimpenetrable fortress, now it has fallen to the Black Tusk. Although at this point we've already set out to capture the Black Tusk leader, this is the final battle where we'll fight the Black Tusk. What exactly the assignment is, is unknown, but perhaps we'll discover the identity and motivations of the shadow organization that hired the Black Tusk. With it comes also another raid. And perhaps most exciting is the last expansion for the first year. Although untitled, it's very clear what we'll be doing. Aaron Keener has been found and is located near Coney Island, New York City. Coney Island is a residential Brooklyn neighborhood that morphs into a relaxation and entertainment destination each summer. It's all the way down in the bottom of Brooklyn, quite far from Manhattan itself, so I'm unsure if we're yet to play in Manhattan, but at least we're in New York. It's summertime as cleaners roam the beach. Your assignment is a manhunt for Aaron Keener our fallen brother. If we don't stop him here, there will be nothing left to save, indicating that he's found a purpose for the 3D DNA printer, Emmer's Notes and Chernenko. Green Poison 2.0 doesn't sound so ridiculous now as we look at the smoking Manhattan. I'm interested to see if the Black Tusk are also in New York City, as they have been rumored to supply the LMB. I'm very excited to discover more lore and story in beautiful and unique locations, like the Manning National Zoo, the Pentagon and Coney Island. I'm even more excited to discover what happened to Emmeline Shaw, who leads the Black Tusk, and what happened to Keener. It's time for some answers. Also, New York City in the summertime. Time to bring out the shorts. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed or used the Intel Brief, I would like to ask you to like or dislike, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for daily updates and behind the scenes posts. Join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in a build blueprint with summarized information from this video. To end the video, I have a question for you. What are your first impressions on the expeditions to the four locations in the three expansions? 
Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord, Instagram, Twitter or YouTube. Peace out.